There uh, are just get a big picture, uh, just over 400,000 kids in foster care in the United States today. So there'll be 600,000 throughout this whole year who go in and out, but four, four, 400,000 today. Um, you think of foster care, there's two, mainly two general groups. You go into foster care primarily at first goal is to uh, work for reunification, uh, that child back into their family. Um, but for a certain percentage of those kids, that goal ends up getting changed and the parents lose legal custody and those uh, kids become legally free to be adopted. So today, out of that 400,000, uh, just over 100,000 are legally free, while the other 300,000 are working towards reunification. Uh, the stat uh, that you shared about the 24,000 kids in Indiana, um, just to get a bit of perspective there, uh, Indiana's population is six and a half million people. Col Colorado's population is five and a half million people. So um, you're just a little, you know, you're a little bit larger than us, but you have three times as many kids in foster care because we just have 8,000. So, um, and, and you guys keep making, I know you probably don't know it, you keep making the national news about the o opioid epidemic. It's like you're in the top five worst states. And so, I don't know why that is. It, it is the case, and that it is um, feeding the foster care um, problem. And so, one of the things that uh, I want to impress upon you is I know as church leaders, community leaders, you've got a lot of people pulling at your sleeve, like, pay attention to us, pay attention to this. And I, I want to say, you know, thank God for the things you're paying attention to and thank God for the churches that are uh, going in deep and helping uh, addicts with uh, things like Celebrate Recovery and for uh, churches that are helping with homeless ministries and churches that are helping with prison ministries and the churches that are helping with uh, crisis pregnancy ministries and sex trafficking. With that said... Wouldn't it be nice if we could go upstream and help some people who are now kids not need those ministries 10 years from now? Uh, the foster care system is a gateway feeder to all those things I just mentioned. Here in the stats that you know, less than half the kids will graduate from high school uh, who, are, who age out of foster care, 26,000 a year age out of foster care. Uh, one in four will be in trouble with uh, the law within two years. Uh, nearly two-thirds of the girls will be pregnant by the time they're 21. Uh, one in four will uh, suffer with PTSD, twice the rate of combat uh, military veterans. One in five will be homeless. Uh, there's, it's estimated uh, by the FBI that 70% of all uh, child sex trafficking victims are uh, kids who have been in foster care. So it's a gateway to all these issues. If you combine all these things, when a child ages out of foster care, not connected to a family, uh, there is an 89% chance within a year that they'll fall into at least one of these categories. And so it is a gateway issue uh, to all uh, these things.